manufacturing process of coir composites through the efforts of the composites technology park in bangalore coir has been adapted and processed into a composite product for industrial and socio economic applications coir polymer composites are coir needled felt coated with phenol formaldehyde and hot pressed these composites are strong enough to use in structural acoustic or door and window paneling with the support of the coir board a national coir composites development and training center has been set up at ctp indeed coir has found added value and utility as a composite product be it as doors wall panels furniture these composite boards possess both fire retardant as well as termite resistant properties this is a unique coir house made entirely out of coir composite boards a composite is a material where two or more materials are present out of which some load bearing members and the others are for holding the load bearing members in proper orientation coir composite can be made using coir as reinforcing material with or without plantation timber such as rubber veneer bamboo jute in between as a secondary reinforcement and then impregnated with polymeric matrix material like phenolic polyester epoxy etc and processed under controlled temperature and pressure the first process in the manufacture of coir composites is to make coir fiber in sheet form the carding machine is used to open the coir fiber bales The fiber drops in the feeder and spreads. The fiber takes to the carry conveyor distributor and the fibers are opened with the help of the drawer. And this drawer pushes the fiber into the elevator conveyor. when the fiber is reached to the end of the sensor the feeding is stopped the sensor works not to congest and jam the fiber the fiber which comes through the conveyor is pushed by a pusher The fiber which has been pushed by the pusher comes between the roller and is needle punched with a needle punching machine consisting of a reciprocating needle board, stripper plates and base plates. The needles having bars push some of the fibers vertically down. The fibers form loops below the web bottom surface by which the fibers are mechanically entangled to form a continuous length of sheet and it can be handled easily. No bonding material is used in the manufacture of coir felt. After needling, the edges are trimmed and if required cuts are made by adjustable rotating cutters. Finally, it is rolled by winder which always maintains a constant speed in winding in spite of continuous increase in roll diameter. When a particular length is wound, the roll is removed from the winder and core of the next roll is put. Depending on the weight per square meter of coir felt, the feeding and distribution are adjusted. The density of coir needle felt can be controlled by the amount of fiber going through the needle board or by overlapping needle felt to give the desired density. After that, the cut material is fed to the phenol formaldehyde coating plant roller. The resin is transferred to the needle felt with the help of the spreader having a set of skis rollers in the fabric carrier of resin. The excess resin if any coated is removed by passage through a set of skis rollers.
After completing the coating of resin to the coir fiber sheet, it is taken for drying in sunlight. It is cut to the required size using a circular saw. Two HP motor is using for circular saw. The required number of cut pieces are placed over the other and placed in the mold of hydraulic press which is heated to about 140 degrees celsius. The pressure and time for compressing the material in the hydraulic press depend on the thickness and size of the material. After the compressing process, the hydraulic press is opened and the finished product is taken out from the mold. The edges of the mold product is finished using a circular saw. Coir composite has high strength, non corrosive, water resistant, long durability, etc. Coir composites are highly suitable for building and construction of door, furniture, and other joining work as cost effective replacement to wood and timber for paneling, fall ceiling, partitions, packaging, etc.